Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Boskin Does Some Math. Today we are doing Illustrative Math Grade 8 Unit 1 Lesson 1. We're starting off the year. Okay, our practice problems for the first lesson of the year are on the work we just did, Transforming Shapes. The six frames show a shape's different positions. Describe how the shape moves from one position to the next. Make these a little bigger. Okay, from one to two, what happened? Well, from one to two, it looks like our shape moved Let's get right into using proper vocabulary. If we just slid the shape, we just moved the shape. A slide is called a translation. We translated it up. How about from two to three, what happened? From two to three, this shape was rotated. How much was it rotated? I, I would say that was rotated 90 degrees. Which way was it rotated? That way. Which, think about the direction of a clock. That's the opposite of the way a clock spins, so that's counterclockwise. It was rotated 90 degrees counterclockwise. Okay, about from three to four. From three to four, well, our shape was in the top left. Now it's in the bottom right. It looks like it was just moved. Nothing else about it happened, so it was translated Now, we could think of it as being moved over here and then down. We could think of it as being translated down and then over. Or we could think of it as being translated diagonally. But it was translated to the right and down. Let's just call it that for now. Okay, that was three to four. How about four to five? From four to five, that looks like a rotation again. How was it rotated? Well, it went that way, the same direction the clock spins. So we're gonna call that a rotated 90 degrees clockwise. Okay, five to six, what happened? From five to six, it just moved from this corner to this corner. A move or a slide is called a translation. Translated to the left. Okay, what's our next problem here? These five frames show a shape's different position. Describe how the shape moves to get from its position in each frame to the next. Very similar to the last one we were doing. Make that a little bit bigger. So one to two, what happened? It went that way. Translated to the right. From two to three, what happened? It spun. So it rotated 
90 degrees clockwise. Three to four, it looks like it just went down. And from four to five, what happened here? This looks like a bigger rotation or a flip. So we talked about that being rotated. Let's keep talking about rotations. How much was it rotated? 180 degrees. If it spins around so it's pointing in the opposite direction, that's 180 degrees. Now, does it matter which direction we rotate it in? If we spun 180 degrees that way, or 180 degrees that way, because 180 degrees spins us around, it doesn't matter which way we go, either way it's going to rotate us into the same place. So we don't really need a direction if we're talking about 180 degree rotation. Okay, Diego started with this shape. Diego moves the shape down, turns it 90 degrees clockwise, then moves the shape to the right. Draw the location of the shape after each move. So, new box. First, Diego moves the shape down. So if I took this shape and moved it down, it's going to look kind of like that. Turn it 90 degrees clockwise. Clockwise is this way. So our next box is going to have to look this longer side with the shorter angled parts here is going to have to be on this end. Then he moves the shape to the right. Make a new box. So we took the shape, it looks like that. We move it to the right. So we went down, rotated 90 degrees, and then moved it to the right. Okay, that's the shape of it after each one of those moves. That's it for today's practice. This has been another episode of Mr. Boskin Does Some Math. Thanks for tuning in.